Out of my way, freshman. Move it. Senior priority. After you. After you. No, go ahead. After you. Well, I wasn't thirsty. Me neither. I don't want to drink. Come on. <laughs> Senior priority. What bull? Just because they're the oldest kids in the school. Yeah, they get all the good stuff. Senior lawn, senior ski trip, senior prom. They even have their own lounge. Yeah, the senior lounge. What do you think they do in there anyway? You know, senior stuff. Filling out college applications and rehearsing graduation speeches. Human sacrifices with freshmen? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, let's check it out. What are you, crazy? If we can't go in there, we'll be killed. No one will ever know. We'll just peek in. do get all the good stuff. Growing up. So, uh, where do you want to go? I think we can drive up to the lake. Come on. Man, I sure wish I got to do the things that the older kids do. <laughs> yeah, like driving. And staying out late. And making out. <laughs> With girls. <laughs> but Walter, when are you going to grow up? Hey, I am growing up. Just check out this full beard. That's nothing, dude. I'm going for a Fu Manchu. Hey, chumps, I'm winning the sideburn race. Just check out this major growth. Yeah, it's called fungus. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous. Yeah, just because we look more mature. You know, a lot of people mistake us for sophomores. Oh, get real, boneheads. There's more to maturity than peach fuzz. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with regular bathing. <laughs> I'll listen to you, Alex, always acting like you're so above it all. I am not. You are, too. Like the time you wouldn't sit with us in the cafeteria. Yeah, you thought you were too good for us. I still think I'm too good for you. Hey, is that the day that they were serving fried chicken with fried onion rings and french fries and fried mozzarella sticks and refried beans? Oink, oink, Walter. Why don't you just eat the whole thing? I think I will. Thanks, ugly head. <laughs> don't mention it, booger brain. <laughs> <laughs> Charming musical interlude by Murray. Yeah, your regular symphony orchestra. <laughs> Did you say symphony? <laughs> hey, Alex, want some? No fries? <laughs> you guys are so immature. I'm eating my lunch in a more civilized setting. I'm going to sit with the older kids. Oh, come on, Alex. <laughs> Who want to sit with you? You got cooties. Hey, cooties. 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 Lunch without getting nauseous. Do you mind if I sit here? <laughs> Not at all, please do. So, Steve, which college did you say was your first choice? BU. Oh, Boston University? No, Barf University. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Waddle. We're all solid and roll you in the University of Broken Bones. Oh, yeah, you and what army? Wuss. <laughs> the Mashed Potato Patrol. Attention, incoming Spud Missile. Hey, oh, gross. Oh, I can't believe this. Believe what? How ugly you are? <laughs> Ew, is that your breath or did you just cut one? I did not! Yeah, you smelt it, dealt it, Betsy. <laughs> you denied it, supplied it. <laughs> animals, you're all animals! <laughs> this place is like a nursery school. Uh. There's nowhere to eat in peace. Give me back my attendance record! No way, dog breath. Mr. Lippman, Mr. Sit's cursed! Liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh, stop it, Mr. Teensy. Holding your breath won't do you any good. You're not getting a raise. But I want a raise! I want a raise! I want a raise! You don't 
<laughs> shut up, I'm going to grab your undies and give you a big wet... Gee! Uh, that third vertebra is back in place now, Mr. Teensy, that ought to do her. <clears throat> yes, Alex. <clears throat> The teacher's lounge is off limits to students. Unbelievable. I'm glad she's gone. She smells. No, you smell. Do not. Do too. Do not. 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 Finally, I expect everyone to be on their best behavior tomorrow when the county superintendent makes his annual visit. I'll be watching you all, especially you freshmen. So don't try anything funny. That is all. Thank you. Funny. <laughs> a freshman wouldn't know funny if it were a required course. <laughs> now, I, I know funny. If only I could get the chance to prove it. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Elliot Lipman! <laughs> thank you, thank you, yeah! Boy, am I glad to be here today. When I think that I could be downwind of a freshman, I'm real glad to be here. <laughs> hey, why do freshmen have smelly thumbs? Well, it's a long story. <laughs> Thank you. Guess that explains their bad breath, too. <clears throat> but seriously, these freshmen are dense. Probably something in their diet. I mean, what does a freshman call a cheese dog on a high wire? A balanced meal. <laughs> We're talking D-U-M dumb. And I gotta tell you, these freshmen are sloppy. I mean, how can you tell what a freshman ate for dinner? Just look at the front of his shirt. Did you hear about the freshman who sprained his back? Yeah, he was trying to pick up girls. <laughs> now that's sad. Well, my time's about up, so let me leave you with some advice. You can lead a freshman to water, but you can't make him bathe. Thanks, you've been great. Don't go changing. Hey dudes, are you ready for this? I can't believe they're gonna show us the facts of life in living color. Intense, the birds and the bees. Yeah, this is great. I finally get to learn about where I came from. This is sex education, Walter, not science fiction. Maybe you should cover your eyes. I heard a kid passed out last period. Oh, like you've seen it all, Kevin. My magazine collection is a lot bigger than yours. Yeah, whatever. The more we learn about this subject, the better our chances with the ladies. Yeah. Okay, people, settle down. As I'm sure you are aware, today we'll be covering reproduction. <laughs> I'm pleased to announce that the PTA has granted us permission to show this award-winning educational videotape. Yes! Now, I just hope that you're mature enough to take this film seriously. It's rather graphic. Uh, if anyone starts to feel uncomfortable, during the film, simply leave the room. You won't be penalized. But anyone who does is a complete wuss. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, folks, everything you're about to see is a completely natural part of life, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna start it now. Would you get the lights for me? Thank you. Get away, get away. Get away. Oh, Behold the amoeba the key to understanding reproduction. <laughs> the amoeba reproduces by splitting into two, a process known as cell division, or mitosis. Whoa. <laughs> Man, amoebas, what a letdown. I just assumed there was something about human reproduction. Yeah, how's that supposed to help our chances with girls? Hey, you uh, foxy single-celled lady. How about some division for two? Then maybe a swim in the gene pool? What do you say? Mitosis or yurtosis? Get lost, geek. Man, it's always easier in the movies. He was the strictest administrator in the county. That's right, Buster. Every day this summer, right here. He was a wacky freshman with a science project. Hmm. What if I 
Reverse the polarity. Two opposites who had nothing in common. What's going on in here? Nothing until they switched brains. Now they're exchange students. What are you doing in my clothes? There's a new vice principal at Hawthorne and a whole new kind of freshman. Uh, got you, freshman. Uh, Mr. Burr, uh, it's uh, you got to explain the new. <laughs> Yes, it's the role reversal of a lifetime. This is Lippy, and this has been a Lippumentary. Shut up, Lippy. Keep scrubbing. It's an advanced class in comedy. Oh, I got a million of them. Oh, why did the freshman carry his bike to school? Because his mom told him it was too far to ride. It's a blast. Lippy! Exchange students, you'll be glad you switched. Don't go away, there'll be plenty of close-ups of me when Welcome Freshman returns in a moment. You know, I guess I wouldn't mind being older. But at least at our age, we don't have any of the worries that the seniors do. What worries? I mean, which cool party to go to? Which college has the cutest girls? Which freshmen to beat up? What ski resort to go to? Which beach to hang out on? Oh, come on, you guys. Driving. What? Driving. It's the key to maturity. Yeah, four wheels of freedom. Too bad we had to wait till we were 16. Yeah, I wonder why freshmen aren't allowed to drive. It doesn't seem fair. All is fair in love and vehicular travel, Tara. Oh, smooth move, Tara. Yeah, you just jump-started the time machine. Sorry. Looks like another special visit from... Mr. History. That's right, motorheads. Throughout history, kids your age have been anxious to get behind the wheel. Come back in time with me to ancient Macedonia during the reign of that famous freshman, Alexander the Ingrate. Here in Aristotle's chariot ed class, ninth graders were chomping at the bit to learn the art of driving. And for the young emperor, this class was all that was standing between himself and the conquest of Persia. Man, there's no seats in these things. I'm not gonna stand all the way to Persia. All right, my future charioteers, let's see how much you've learned about courtesy on the highway. Everyone to your simulators. Come on, let's get the show on the road already. Good things come to those who wait, Alexander. Now, who can tell me the correct procedure for pulling away from the curb? Uh, lay some wood, man. Let him know who's king of the road. That is incorrect, Alexander. Mervulous. Uh, the driver who signals and enters traffic with care keeps insurance rates low, avoiding chariot repair. Very good. Suck up. Now, you've come upon a slow-moving chariot, but you wish to continue at your present speed. What do you do? I give him a taste of my whip and run him off the road and let him eat my dust. <laughs> no, Alexander, that is how accidents happen. Pericles. Um, so as not to harass, on the left you must pass? That is correct. <laughs> now, when entering a uh, busy intersection, what should you do? Falter. Um, turn around? That is wrong. I know. You floor it and use your horses as a battering ram and then play chicken. <laughs> no, 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 Alexander. Yield to the right and you'll live to see the night. Alexander yields to no one. I am king. Not in my class, you're not, young man. Step down from your simulator. But, but the oracle says I'm destined to conquer Persia on a chariot of fire. Alas, many doubts had I, but now you confirm it. Freshmen are too young to be allowed a driver's permit. I see by your actions, I must raise the driving age to 16. Oh, thanks a lot, Alexander. Yes, yeah, Sunday driver. Lead foot. Roadhog. <laughs> and so, to this day, freshmen can lay the blame on Alexander for having to get rides from their moms. But Alexander did go on to conquer Persia in his own chariot. A chauffeur-driven one, that is. <laughs> this is Mr. Historia saying, ta-ta, and happy trails. The Merview Mentory, where scandals brew, the Merview Mentory pursues. Who will face the fact-finding force of Hawthorne's beacon of truth? The roving camera of the Merview Mentory. Today's episode, Respect Your Youngers. Aren't we funny, Jeff? 
Maybe you freshmen need a babysitter or a nanny to help change your diapers. How would that be, hmm? Or maybe we are ready to start acting like young adults. I'm sorry, Mr. Lippman. Sorry, huh? I'm the one that's sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? Freshmen being treated like babies. Do they deserve this kind of abuse? And what's the psychological damage? Let's find out as the Murphy Mentory digs deeper. <laughs> Let's talk baby talk. I'm standing outside the Freshman Nap Center. Kevin. Hey, then introduce me, man. What? Oh, yeah. The Murphy Mentory is proud to present a new member on the news team. This is our cameraman, Kevin. And Hi, so I'm Kevin. And if there are any ladies Kevin, out there, my phone... out of the way. <laughs> and so... Hey, you're cutting off my head. Look at that. Dude, will you relax? Tell it up or no one can see me. I already did. Wait, I can't... Hey. Wait, what? Oh, man. Let's talk baby talk. I'm standing outside the freshman nap center where kids are forced to lay down after they go potty. Let's go inside. Shh. No more 14 to 15 year olds. Reduce to this. Baba, me hungry for pizza and a cheeseburger and some pizza. Good to be to you. Sad, isn't it? This... Oh, man, what's that smell? Kevin, you change him. No way, man. But there is hope. The freshman class is fighting for the respect they deserve by proving themselves and their study habits. Excuse me, sir. Close, huh? Hey, Murph, pull my finger. Ah, it's Gushman. Quick, run away. Wait, Billy, man, can we talk about this? Be cool. You can have my sloppy joes at lunch, Billy. Uh, that's... <laughs> okay, that's good. And so the question remains, will these freshmen ever get the respect they deserve? Will these... Ow! Hey, Ellie! What's the deal? Is there something... Kevin, and I trusted you! Hey! <laughs> Wait, jerks! You guys have any idea what I'm trying to accomplish here? I was doing this for you. You're all so childish. <laughs> I thought I'd seen everything. Ah, let's take a little walk, shall we? I know a nice little room where you can put your head down and go nighty-night until you feel like behaving again. And if you're a good boy during detention, I'll give you a bloody box. Time for another torso-twisting gym class with that tyrant of torture, Coach Rochelle. Okay, ladies. Coach Rochelle says put your hands on your hips. Very good. Coach Rochelle says, touch your nose. Raise your right hand. <laughs> I didn't say Coach Rochelle says. You're out, Alex. Good. Good? Can I be out too, Coach? Yeah, me too. Why, of all the lame stunts, even you losers know you're not supposed to want to be out. Coach, don't you think Simon Says is kind of young? What? It's a baby game, Coach. Little kids play it in elementary school. <laughs> We'd like to do something that involves conditioning. And hand-eye coordination. Yeah. You know, something a little more glamorous than Simon Says. Yeah. yeah. So, the little cream puffs want to do something more glamorous. Something with conditioning and hand-eye coordination. Huh? Uh, if you think it's okay, Coach. Oh, I think it's a marvelous idea, Alex. Only we'll do it. The Coach Rochelle way. <laughs> All right, glamour girls. Don't just stand there. Get to work. I want to look ten years younger. How's your hand-eye coordination, Alex? My eyes better like my hands when you're done or else. Yeah. Man, this thing sure is filthy. Yeah, how come we can't get detention like normal people? Really? I mean, washing Lippman's car. How embarrassing. Then he gives us till 4 o'clock to finish with the... Yeah, well, you know Lippman. He's got a thing against ninth graders. What is it he always says? Freshman, what a curse. Freshman, what a curse. Who ever told them they were TV repairmen? Last time I let any of them on my AV squad. Oh, the frustration. I'm running out of disciplinary measures. Forget it. We're never going to be done by four. Yeah, the only thing I could save us now is a car wash. Oh, man, we could have this crate vacuumed, simonized, and back here with time to spare. Lippy would think we're geniuses. Yeah, and he might even forget about that TV we broke. He may even let us in the building again. Well, what are we waiting for? 
Nah. nah. If Flipman found out, he'd fry us. Yeah, and just because we're freshmen and not old enough to drive. Really? The only freshman left behind the wheel would have to have flunked, like, two grades. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> Miss Petruca, will you cancel that coaching staff meeting? I've had it for today. Oh, and find me those requisition forms for a new TV monitor. Uh-oh. Drive by slowly, Garth. Maybe you won't notice. Yeah, just act natural. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Mr. Lippin. Good afternoon, boys. Hey! What the? Hey! Why, car? Why? in here for? I think we're out of gas. <laughs> Later, dudes. Wait, Garth, no! It's Lippman. What do we do now? What any reasonable freshman would do in this situation. <laughs> Run away! to do is push the brake with your foot. Are you kidding? Get behind the wheel? We could have gotten in trouble for that. Uh, excuse me, Walter. Didn't you guys get in trouble anyway? Oh, yeah. Alex, it's all relative. I mean, we may have to wash Slipman's new car every morning for the rest of our lives. But Garth, poor guy. Yeah, I heard that Lippman sent him back to the eighth grade. Really? Yeah. And if he messes up there, they'll send him back to the seventh. And then sixth. And then first, and then kindergarten, and then Walter. Sounds to me like your own academic path of glory, Walter. Shut up, dog breath. Twit. Hatchet face. Mutant. Uh, uh, pardon me. I don't think name calling best reflects the maturity and wisdom we've come to achieve as freshmen. I must agree. Perhaps a roundtable discussion of a literary work would be more appropriate. Yes, or a political debate where pros and cons can be aired equally and argued upon. I see your point. For example, we could bandy about ideas and theorize about how Merv got a human birth certificate. Oh, ho, ho. Or we could simply muse over the farcical notion of Alex having a boyfriend. Indeed, Merv. But then again, we might find satisfaction in the game of pure conjecture. The subject, Alex's species. Hey, Gad, Alex, what is that malodorous scent? It would seem that the gentlemen need a reminder to cleanse themselves more often. <laughs> Perhaps the stench comes from being downwind of friend Walter. Hmm, I would have to concur. Walter, what rebuttal do you offer for our consideration? Um, you guys are jerks? <laughs>
Welcome Freshman was produced at Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida.